Hi, I'm here to demonstrate how to create a stem and leaf plot using Microsoft Excel. If you actually have the data analysis uh, plus tool pack, um, you can do this um, <laughs> the, I mean, the easier way where you just click on the data and then and it goes in. Um, there's also a more difficult way. Um, it's kind of like a programming where you're going to be using a repeat um, function and a count if function. Uh, I'm not going to do either of those. Um, so I'm just going to just go through and, and show you a basic uh, stem leaf um, chart here. So first I'm going to write down stem. And I'm going to write leaf over here. Um, here's my data. I'm going to highlight my data and I want to put it in order. So I'm using these decimal numbers. I'm going to put it in order. So re if you re remember how to put things in order, you go to data. And then I'm going to put it in order from smallest number to largest number, A to Z. And if I do that, you notice 11.2, 11.3, 11.7. Uh, I have them all in order now from smallest to largest. The smallest number is 11. If I scroll down, the largest number is 16.5. So my numbers go from 11 to 16. So my stem is going to be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. These are my stems. My leaves are going to be the decimal parts of them. So if I go to start at the top number, 11.2, so the 2 is a leaf, 3, 11.3, 3 is a leaf, 11.7, comma, and 8 is a leaf. I go to the, I don't need the comma after the 8 because there's nothing after it. If I go to 12 now, 12.2, uh, going to the next number. 12.7, 12.8. So there are three numbers in the 12s, these three right here. Actually, uh, there's another 12.8. So I need to put a comma after the 8 and add another 8. 13, 13 is 13.0. Uh, next, 13.5, 13.6. Uh, then we're off to 14, 14 .4, 14.4, 14.6, 14.4, 14.6, 14.8, 14.9. Then we're off to 15, 15.1, 15.2, 15.3. Let me lower this a little bit. Then we had a we had 15.8. We have another 15.8, 15.9. Then we have 16, which is 16 is 16.0 and 16.5. Okay, so that's all our data. That's my stem leaf right here. Now, what we could do is we could actually stretch these lines out a little bit. Maybe that, maybe not that one. <laughs> maybe the leaf a little bit. Let's see what happens there. Not much. Um, um, let me bring this in. I'm going to create a little barrier between the stem and the leaf. So I'm going to highlight this data. Um, and I'm going to right click and I want to format the cell. So I'm going right click and I'm going to format the cell. And I'm going to click on border. Um, I want um, the line separating the stem and the leaf to be a dark line. So I click on this dark line here and down here it uh, gives me a nice dark line and then I actually want a border. I want a little outside border, outline border. Let me give it a nice little uh, outline border. Nothing too thin. How about this? this is it my outline border? Um, 
with that I'm gonna hit OK and see what my stem leaf there there's my stem leaf um, let's try one more I know it's a little bit tedious doing this um, but uh, just as long as you don't have a million pieces of data it's not too bad so here's my next one I have some data over here these are not decimal numbers these are just regular numbers I'm uh, going to go through that again. I'm going to let me raise it up a little. I'm going to put all my data in order from smallest to largest using data uh, A to Z. And if you notice, all my data over here is in order. Um, I'm going to create a stem and a leaf. Uh, the stem it starts with 16 and uh, tens and goes all the way to 50. So we're going to have tens here, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so our data is from 16 all the way to 55. So to indicate the tens value in the stem, we're going to put a 1 for 10, 2 for 20, 30, 40, 50, and this should complete all our stems. Now then we're going to do our leaves. Uh, I have a 6, a 6, an 8, and a 9. 6, 6, 8, 9. Next, I'm going to the 2s. I got a 21. Oh, where? There we go. I got a 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, and 29. Looking for the 30s now. 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 36, 38. Looking for the 40s. I'm going to raise this up a little bit. I have a 42, just a 42. And then 50s. I've got three 52s and a 55. 52, 52, 52, and a 55. Okay, so here's my stem leaf. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to separate it. I'm going to do a right click, format the cell. I'm going to do a nice thick line right between it. And I'm not going to box this up. I'm just going to put the thick line between it this time. So the first one is my stem leaf for the numbers with the decimal. The second one is my stem leaf. Uh, for numbers without a decimal, do you see in this first category, it's 1 stands for 10, so 1 and 6 is 16, 16, 18, and 19. T the next column, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27, and 29. All right, so that's how you, you can do a stem leaf using Microsoft Excel. There are other ways using count if and repeat uh, typing in a function, but you really have to be... Um, have some knowledge in computer programming to really understand that method.